All right, it's March 4th. It's about 85 degrees out today. It's the first warm day we've had since last fall. It's unusually warm. Uh, up until today, it's been in the 30s and 40s most days. Um, so let's go inside here and see what's going on. Got some determinant tomatoes growing. All of these I sprouted. Um, everything you see in here that's growing was sprouted about six weeks ago. I had some issues uh, in December, at the end of December. Um, the gravel beds, all of them became clogged, really severely clogged with fish waste. Uh, I had to rip, I had about 40 tomato plants in here, I had to rip those out and clean the tanks. What had happened is as the gravel clogged, uh, the pumps were pumping water up into the beds and you can see it here. Uh, I've got some clogging here at the edge where the water goes in but the whole bed was this way and it would actually pump water up and, and uh, it couldn't drain um, so it was just basically overfilling it and running out on the ground so I ripped all the tomato plants out they had actually choked everything else out with the exception of some basil um, which I have a few pieces left here that's actually from last year and it's going like crazy uh, I've got Swiss chard we planted in here um, Everything was sprouted. I've got several different types of tomato plants. Uh, like I said, these are about six weeks old, fairly large. I've got blooms that are starting to come out on these. So most of these are determinants. I do have some cherry tomatoes. This is actually cherry tomatoes here that uh, are indeterminate. Everything else in here is a determinant plant. Some blooms on that one. Tons of basil. Um, like I said, I had to clean the beds out. They were completely clean. I'll, I'll post a picture of that on the blog. I've got kale growing in here, romaine, bib lettuce, and some red leaf lettuce right now. I actually had to move my goldfish uh, into these rafts. The smaller fish were picking on them and, and removing their scales. Um, the small tilapia, you know, the kind of uh, bullying them so they're in these rafts right now and they seem to be doing better uh, some more lettuce and kale tons of uh, basil as you can see some more Swiss chard over there um, and this is the bucket I had to use to clean the gravel about about three gallons at a time you can see the holes in the bottom and I took a high pressured hose and uh, washed it, put it back in the, in the grow beds. It took me uh, over a two week period, a total of seven days, to a total of seven full days to do this over a two week period. So, uh, And it was in 30 to 40 degree weather outside and I had the flu for several days while I was doing it, so that wasn't good. But it, it paid off. Uh, everything's back to normal now, as you can see all the growth here. And uh, that's about the only update I have for now. Uh, I'll have some more coming. Uh, I'm going to expand outside and put some, uh, some uh, fish tanks outside. So uh, I'll update more as, uh, as that comes up. Anyway, that's it for now, and uh, keep on growing.